guys, now that we are in the bab, let's go ahead and start building our rocket that's going to take us to the moon, get into an orbit, and then hopefully get us back safely. We always like to start out with the command pod. Uh, I'm going to go and get a chute. We need a heat shield. I'm going to lower the ablator down just a little bit to save us some weight. I'm going to get a decoupler. And then we're going to get a T400. And then a Terrier engine. This uh, capsule right here with the stage is going to give us 2400 Delta V in space. So what we want to do is build a rocket that's going to put this right here into space before we start using the engine. Or even as long as we're in uh, high atmo. Um, that will work as well. All right, now that we have our capsule built, let's go ahead and build our first stage. We're going to put our decoupler on. Uh, we're going to go to the T800 fuel tanks. And the reason why I'm using those is because it will save on part count. If uh, you do not have this unlocked yet, you can do it with four uh, T400 tanks. And I'm going to find a swivel engine. And let's take a look at our delta V. So we are at 1.19. You can lift off the surface of Kerbin with 1.19. Uh, you probably want to be at least 1.25 to 1.3 is best. So we're going to give this a little assistance, a little boost off the ground. And so we'll get our radial decouplers. And then we are going to get um, two hammer solid fuel boosters, SRVs. You can put those, uh, as long as you keep them mounted more towards the top, um, it's perfectly fine. That way it'll push them away from your rocket when you decouple them. Put two nose cones on, and then let's make sure it doesn't fall over on the launch pad. A very important step that you guys need to look at is one, making sure that you stage everything properly. And that your thrust to weight is going to be in good shape. So right now you can see by adding those boosters our thrust to weight is way too high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my main engine down to 75% and then I'm going to drop our boosters down until it gets me to where I want to be. And 1.3 is about where I would like to be. This will be the MT Moon 1. Let's go ahead and save it and go to the launch pad. Okay, now that we're at the launch pad, all we're going to do now is get into orbit. Um, I'll put the link above. Go ahead and click on it if you haven't watched how to get how to achieve an orbit video yet. I would recommend going and doing that now. Uh, we want to put our SAS on, throttle up, and in five, four, three, two, one, yeah. When I hit about 50 meters per second, I'm gonna start leaning over to the 85 degree mark, then the 80, and I'm gonna work my way to 45 degrees by the time I hit anywhere between 10,000 13,000 meters. All right, now that we're at the 10,000 plus mark, we have decoupled our boosters. We have increased our thrust limit on our center engine to full, and we're gonna start working our way over to the zero degree marker, which is the, the sky blue versus the orangey brown ground on your nap ball. Uh, do not worry if you get a little heating uh, while you're going out. That's uh, totally normal in KSP. And 
I will see you in orbit. All right, now that we've made orbit around Kerbin, we are gonna find the Mun. The way to find the Mun is go ahead and push the M key and that'll bring up your map. And once you locate the Mun, you're gonna click on it and set as target. A good uh, way to figure out how we're gonna burn is find the Mun, find your orbit and bring your little node until it looks like you would be shooting a hole through it, almost like a gun. See how it lines up there? Once you find that spot, that's a good spot to start your burn. So let's go ahead now and increase our apple apps until we see that we get in contact with the mun. Next thing I like to do is go to the mun by focus view. Look at that. 118 kilometers above the surface. You can choose to make uh, corrections with this however you see fit. Um, I think with this purpose of this tutorial, uh, this is perfectly fine right here. If I uh, did want to get closer, you just burn prograde. And if you want to go back, you just burn retrograde. So now that we have our maneuver set, let's go ahead and push the M key and get back to our ship. Remember, your time to your node to time is right here. Your burn time is right here. You want to divide this time in half, and that's when you're going to start your burn. So this is almost 40 seconds, so we'll round it up. When this hits 20 seconds to your node is when you want to start your burn time. All right, guys, we are coming up on 20 seconds. So let's go ahead and point towards our maneuver node. And where I'm gonna start my burn is when we hit 20 seconds right here, because I wanna burn 20 seconds before the node and 26 or 20 seconds after the node to reach my 40, uh, basically 39 second burn. And we're gonna let burn now. All you got to do is just kind of make sure you keep on the maneuver node during your burn so that it doesn't uh, change your trajectory. As you see, the moon is rising. That is a good sign when you're doing your burn to the moon. slow down just a little bit when I start getting close just to make sure we don't overshoot all right so let's go take a look at how we did 98 kilometers above the surface that's gonna be perfect uh, remember what I talked about before uh, time warp is great but you got to be careful especially when you don't have mods to help you stop it so just make sure that when you do your time warps, go ahead and right click, excuse me, left click, and then just warp to your location. This will keep you from overshooting your mark. All right, now that we have reached the Mun's sphere of influence, we're gonna go ahead and put a maneuver node here at the periops. What we're going to want to do is burn retrograde, and that is what's going to help us gain orbit around the moon. All right, now that we have an established maneuver, let's go ahead and warp up to where our burn is. Noticing that it's a nine second burn, so we're going to want to start our burn somewhere between five and four seconds. As we come up, time warp, you want to be careful that you do not overshoot. Get to your maneuver node. And then we will start our burn right when this number right here hits five. 
This will ensure that we do about half of our burn on one side of the node and half of our burn on the other. Orbit of the Mun. Now that we've made Orbit of the Mun, let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to get back. Go to our M for our map view. Remember, if you want to go in, we want to burn on the inside of the orbit. If you want to go out, you want to burn on the outside of the orbit. So I'm going to try right about here and place a maneuver node, and then we'll see how close we get once we start burning prograde. So we have escaped the moon here, which will put us back into an orbit of the uh, Kerbin. If you right click on your periaps, it'll hold this number here. Go ahead and continue to pull prograde until your number gets to somewhere between 35 and 30 kilometers from the surface. And let's slow it up a little bit. And there we go. Again, we have an eight second burn. So we are gonna wanna burn at the node four seconds before it to burn through the node and then four seconds after it. All right, now that we're coming up on our node, let's go ahead and get onto the maneuver node. And at four seconds, we will start our burn. should put us at 22. If you make an issue like that, we burned prograde to go closer. So all you gotta do is flip retrograde and just make a slight burn. Remember to right click on your periaps and burn it back to the number you would like. Remember to use your warp here so that you don't overshoot anything because the last thing you wanna do is overshoot and go back out of uh, the sphere of influence of Kerbin. I'll see you when we get closer to Kerbin. Okay guys, now that we're coming up to Kerbin, you're gonna to wanna to watch your altitude here. I like to right around 80 to 85 kilometers from the surface, uh, detach my lower stage as you can see, I've already put the parachute and the decoupler together. So once I detach, it arms both. Now we're coming up. Let's go ahead and slow it down. I'm going to release. And there you go. Point back to retrograde. And then once you hit the skin of the atmosphere, which is under 70 kilometers, you are now gonna get captured back in to Kerbin and land safely, as long as you've built the capsule the way I've shown you. Go ahead and turn your SAS off because we have nothing to cause any kind of weight distribution issues and enjoy watching the fire show as you burn back in. <laughs>